Hi friends, this is Nageshwar and welcome to my channel ITBot 143. In this tutorial, I will show how to configure distributed file system with namespaces and replication in Windows Server 2012 R3. Here I am using two Windows 2012 servers and both servers contain two share folders, share1 and share2 and share1 folder contains few data in server 1. Now I want to replicate share 1 data with the share 2 data after installing distributed file system replication. Ok let's start the process. Come to server manager in server 1 and please select add roles and features please select role based or feature based installation and select the server from your server pool next and here please expand file and storage services and expand file and ISCSI services please select DFS namespaces and select DFS replication next next and here it is showing the confirmation click on install after installation succeeded on your server close this now Come to tools and open dfs management and here please select namespaces and select new namespace here type your server name next and here we have to enter a name for the namespace i'm selecting dfs next and please select domain based namespace and enable windows server 2008 mode and here it is showing the preview of domain based namespace your domain name followed by the dfs and next create and you have successfully completed new namespace wizard close this now expand namespaces and select domain based namespace and right click here please select new folder and select a name share one and here it is showing the preview of namespace click on add browse and select share one folder okay okay and expand this select share one and here you can check the referral status enabled and also we can check the status by typing the root path here we have the share one folder similarly I want to add a folder to server to share folder so again select this right click new folder and type share to add and browse and here please type the server name this is the second server and click on show shared folders and here I got shared to okay okay and here we have created two folders in DFS namespace let's try to browse the 
command base namespace server dfs and here we got two shared folders and right click come to properties and here it is showing the location server dfs into dfs and it is showing the path okay similarly come to share to properties come to dfs and here it is showing the path server to and share to folder okay now i want to replicate the data in share one folder to the share two folder so for that right click on share to and please select add folder target and path to folder target browse and please select share one which contains the data okay and here I got a message a replication group can be used to keep these folder targets synchronized do you want to create a replication group yes Now it is collecting the folder target information and here it is showing the replication group name and the replicated folder name next and here it is showing the DFS replication members and next and here we have to select the primary number select the server that contains the content so i'm selecting server next and please select full mesh and here please select replicate continuously using the specified bandwidth if you want to modify the bandwidth you can select your band bandwidth i'm keeping default next and here it is showing the review settings before creating the replication group okay if everything fine please click on create and you have successfully completed replicate folder wizard close this and here replication will not begin until the configuration is picked up by the members of the replication group and the amount of time this takes depends on the active directory domain services replication latency as well as the polling interval okay now just expand the replication and here it is showing the replicated folder now come to server 2 and open shared folder 2 in server 2 and no data replicated yet it will take few minutes to replicate the files from share one folder to share two and in server two i have successfully replicated data from share one folder and it takes nearly two minutes Now come to server 1 and minimize this and here you can observe the green replication signs on the share folder too. So like this we can configure distributed file system along with namespaces and replication in Windows Server 2012 R2. I hope you like this video. If you like this video, please click on like button and please share this video with your friends. And please visit my channel ITBot143 to watch more latest updated videos. And don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you friends. Have a nice day.